Live from the studios of Penn Trafford High School, this is Wake Up Warriors with Julianne Bean and Sarah Simpson. We'll take a look at Spirit Week and a presentation in the Media Center. Wake Up Warriors starts now. Good morning, Penn Trafford, and welcome to Wake Up Warriors. Today is Friday, October 6th. I'm Julianne. And I'm Sarah. The birthday for today is Cool Mains and Juliana Palasak. This Tuesday marks the first day of Spirit Week. Here with more on that are our 2017 Most School Spirit winners, Maddie Haberberger and Josh Beers. Sorry. Good morning, Sarah. Now, before we get to Spirit Week, there's a big game tonight at Franklin Regional. Josh, what? is the theme for tonight and what can we expect from our student section? Uh, the theme is Neon Army or Morp and I expect everybody to be there, be loud, be proud, and be respectful. Alright, and as everyone knows, this Tuesday is the first day of our Spirit Week. Josh and I created a brief video to educate you on the topic and show you how each and every one of you viewers can get involved. Spirit Week starts this Tuesday, so here's a guide on how everyone can find a way to participate. On Team Tuesday, you could keep it simple with some gear from your favorite sports team. Or, deck yourself out from head to croc and truly become the 12th man. Next is Wilderness Wednesday, where you can toss on some camo. Or, channel your inner bear grills and go full survival. Thursday's theme is time travel. You could go the easy route and throw an old photo on a sweatshirt. Or hop in the DeLorean and head on back to your favorite decade. Friday, as always, is Green and Gold Day. Rep PT in your Warrior Home t-shirt. Or show everyone that you really bleed green and gold. However you choose to participate, Spirit Week is a week for fun and craziness. You can go small or you could go huge, but what matters is that you go at all. Have a great Spirit Week, Penn Trafford. This has been Maddie for PTTV. Back to you in the studio. All right, so as you see, Spirit Week's not that hard. Now, Josh, what do you have for next week? Uh, I got all my stuff at Salvation Army Goodwill, and most of it was in my house, so everything you need is just laying around probably, so go get it all. It's that easy. So what's your favorite day of Spirit Week? My favorite day of Spirit Week is Green and Gold Day, just because I like seeing everyone in their Penn Trafford colors, and everyone goes really hard during Spirit Week especially, so that's nice to see. Mm -hmm. What about you, Josh? Uh, my favorite day is Throwback because it has the most unique outfits because everyone just goes crazy for it. All right, thank you. We'll see you tonight at Franklin Regional, and we'll see you next week for Spirit Week. School Picture Retake Day is scheduled for Monday, October 16th. Underclassmen who would like a retake should report to the auditorium when called over the announcements. Any senior who still needs a photo taken for the yearbook or desires a retake can have one taken on October 16th as well. This will be the last opportunity for all students and staff to have a photo taken for the 2018 yearbook. Attention seniors, the yearbook staff is requesting that you send one school picture from any elementary grade to be included in the 2018 yearbook. You may send images to ptyz2018 at gmail.com or bring a hard copy of the image labeled with your name and homeroom teacher to room 138. The deadline to submit is an elementary school picture is Friday, October 13th. On October 12th, there will be two pediatric nurses speaking in the media center. Sign up by October 9th. The form is in your school email. Freshmen, sophomores, and juniors. On Wednesday, all sophomores and some juniors will be taking PSATs. All freshmen will be completing parts of career cruising. Check your email today. You have been emailed the rooms where you're supposed to report after homeroom. If you have any questions, ask one of your teachers or your counselor. Attention all students attending the MSA manufacturing trip today. Please be in the front of the building by the main office at 10 o'clock. You must wear closed toe shoes, no sandals or flip-flops. The CAP project for this week is Hurricane Relief Collection at PT versus Franklin Regional football game Friday, October 6th from 6 to 8 p.m. We will be collecting donations at the entrances to the football game for Hurricane Relief Act Franklin Regional at Franklin Regional Football Stadium. 
See the website for Mrs. Popovich for details. Yesterday, Taya Santilli. Sorry. Yesterday, Taya Santilli had Alphalete Jim come meet with kids in the media center to talk about fitness and benefits of working out and being healthy. The gym talked about why it's important to work out and be healthy and students, how students can get into this field. If you would like to participate in guest speakers coming in, check your school email to make sure you stay up to date. The homecoming dance will be held on Saturday, October 14th at 7.30 p.m. in the PTHS gym. The theme for this year is the 90s. Tickets will be on sale today, October 2nd, to Wednesday, October 11th in the cafeteria during all lunches. $20 for a single ticket and $40 per couple. Outside guest forms are available in the main office and in Miss Martini's room 141. If you or the date are on the restricted list, you will not be permitted to purchase a ticket until you have made your, up your infractions. Tickets will not be sold after Wednesday, October 11th. Seniors College Application Day will be Wednesday, October 25th after school in the cafeteria. Local colleges including WCCC, PSU Greater Allegheny, and UPG will be here. If you attend, you can talk to a representative from the school, apply, and get an answer on your acceptance all that day. To sign up, complete the form that has been emailed to you or access the form on the high school counseling page. Student Union and Rachel Sitch have teamed up to sell pink out t-shirts for the October 20th football game. The pre proceeds will benefit Rachel's senior project, which, which supports the Real Men Wear Pink campaign to help, fund ra help raise money to fund breast cancer research. T-shirts are $10, and order forms will be available in all lunches until Wednesday, October 11th. Please consider helping to benefit a great cause. Now let's go to Bernie for a look at today's weather. Currently it is 63 degrees and cloudy. Today we'll reach a high of 74 degrees with a low of 60 degrees tonight. It will continue to be cloudy throughout the day with a good chance for showers later in the day. Now let's go back to the desk. Attention all students and staff, subscription to the PTHS student news newspaper, The Wh Warrior, will are on sale all week. The cost is $2 and all subscribers get a Tootsie Pop along with their order. Several issues this year will once again include coffee shop coupons and a new and new this year is a raffle each issue where a few subscribers will get media center passes. Please see any Warrior staff member or Mr. Wozniak in room 142 subs to subscribe. Also check us out on Twitter and Instagram at PT Journalism. Attention all writers, our student literary magazine Traces Sorry, is hosting a scary story contest. Winning entries will be published on the Traces website and will be eligible to win prizes including gift cards and coffee shop coupons. There are no length requirements. Fear comes in all sizes. Please submit to PT Traces at pentrafford.org. The deadline is October 20th. Warrior towels for the whiteout game are now on sale for $5 during all lunches in the cafeteria in, the, in room 138. Show your warrior pride. Penn Trafford Lady Warriors Soccer is hosting a 5K color run at, um, on Sunday, October 29th at Municipal Fields. The cost is $25 and includes a shirt, sunglasses, and paint kit. See Mrs. Barco for sign-ups. Now let's go to Sarah G with the sports. Attention all boys interested in trying out for basketball. They be the tryouts begin November 17th. Please sign up with Coach Rocco, Rocco in room 214. Also, preseason workouts are in full swing. Schedules are in room 214. Girls volleyball beat Connellsville 3 to 1. Boys soccer beat Latrobe 5 to 1. PT field hockey defeated Latrobe 3 to 0. The team was able to defeat several strong attacks and offense focused shots on Latrobe's goalie. Goals were scored by Kaylee Melnick and Jordan Bachman, and assists were by Fallon Murray and Emily Polskowski. The, fo the football team will play at the Franklin Panthers tonight at 7, and the Penguins lost to the Blackhawks Haw last night. Let's go back to the desk. For watching Wake Up Warriors, please stand for the Pledge of Flag. I'm Julianne. And I'm Sarah. Have a great day, Pentraffin.